Hello everybody, um, welcome back. It is lovely to walk the school and have students back on Polesworth site. I hope that you're as excited as we are to have you back on site and that you're enjoying your first week. This will probably now be your second week back at school. Um, you're probably exhausted um, because you're, you might have been used to just sort of engaging in online lessons <coughs> and online learning whilst still wearing your pyjamas and having your breakfast. Um, unfortunately, you can't do that while you're in school, I'm sorry to say. Otherwise, we'd all be here in our onesies and pyjamas. Um, I do want to make you feel welcome back in school and I do want to assure you that we are very aware that you, we know that you will have had very different and varying experiences while you have been on lockdown. And we are here to support you with that. But we are also here to make sure that we get you back into some level of normality. Um, and we're hoping everything is crossed, I know, across the country and across the world, really, that, that, this, that we come out of lockdown by the end of June at the very latest, all being well. I want to applaud the students for, for their behaviour and for the way that they have risen to their attitudes in coming back into school. I want to applaud you for your, the way you have handled yourselves in going through the testing process where that has been applicable. I want to applaud the staff for all of the work that they have done prior to lockdown, during lockdown and now to make sure that you feel warm and welcome back into school and that you feel safe and happy to be here and not anxious or uncomfortable. I want to applaud your parents for, for looking after you so well and taking on the role of teacher. Um, part of me is hoping that some of them might actually want to now join the teaching profession having got a little bit of experience of their own or maybe it's put them off completely. Um, but I do want to just reach out to you really and I want you to be aware and I go back to what I said a minute ago you will all have had a very different lockdown experience. And for that reason, I want to just bring you back to some of our core values and our core principles as a school. And I want to take you back to an assembly that, that I shared with you. This is a long time ago now. Some students may not even remember it, um, where I encouraged you to check in on each other and to make sure everybody else around you is OK, your friends, even people who are your acquaintances, who you may not know as well as others, just to let them know that there's somebody there if they need to talk, somebody there who is available to them if, they, if they're feeling a little bit low or anxious or worried about anything. Some of you will have experienced great sadness um, throughout this pandemic, through the loss of people that, that you have loved very dearly. And I am very sorry for that loss where you have experienced that. Some people have been very poorly. Some of your staff here have been very poorly and are just about on the road to recovery. For some, it's going to take longer than others. And I want you to just bear in mind everybody. This isn't just an assembly going out to the students. This is a message going out to all members of staff and students at this school. We have a responsibility to look after each other and to check in on each other and to make sure each other is okay. It doesn't do any harm for a student just to say to a member of staff, how are you today, miss, sir? How are you feeling? Can I do anything for you? Can I help? Your teachers here will bend over backwards to make sure that, that where there are any gaps in knowledge, that those gaps are plugged and that you are brought back up to speed with, with what you need to know in order to progress to the next level. We will leave no student floundering or worrying about where they, they are and whether they have loads of catch up to do. So I just want you to think about, for, for the next, you know, yes, there are going to be lessons going on. Yes, you are expected to make progress. Yes, you are expected to engage in your learning in a respectful, responsible manner, obviously. Um, but also, in addition to that, we're running a school where as a community of people, we look out for each other, we look after each other, and, and we trust each other that we are going to keep each other safe. If you have anything that you want to talk about, there are people available to do that. 
If you know that of somebody who you think is experiencing a bad time, please let us know and we will check in on that student and make sure they're okay. Just as a few kind of reminders really in coming back to school and getting used to being back in a school environment and being used to being back in a classroom environment where there are rules, there are expectations, there are standards. I am delighted to say that in this week where, where students have been back on site, it's been lovely to see students in full uniform, looking lovely, you know, everything is as it should be. Where that isn't the case, we would ask that you do rectify that. So, for example, if you have had a nose piercing, for example, obviously you know that they are not allowed on site. And the fact that you are wearing masks is not going to last forever. So you do need to get something that just sort of covers that hole and is more skin coloured than anything else, really, rather than a ring or a, or a very obvious stud that's in your ear. Just a reminder about your uniform, obviously you can access our website just to remind you as to what the expectations are re our uniform, but obviously hoodies uh, are not permitted, um, you should be wearing loose fitting trousers, uh, makeup should look quite natural, um, hair shouldn't be any unnatural colours. Um, and just, you know, I know it's going to take a little bit of getting back into the swing of things, but we will do it and we will get there. I think we're getting to a point now where we no longer need to wear outdoor clothing in a classroom, hopefully. Um, so you should be able to take your coats off and just sit and be comfortable in your main school uniform. But as you come back into school and as you get re to being in a school environment, I kind of want you to rethink, I want you to re-establish what your expectations are for yourself and, and to think about how you're going to interact with other students and the staff around you as you go through each day. And for that reason, I just want to finish by, by sharing again with you the sort of my philosophy in relation to Polesworth, which is the dare to be and the poem that I hold quite de dear to me. And I want to share this with you and I want you to think about it because you will have been on a roller coaster of emotions, the vast majority of you, during the last lockdown. Some of you will have absolutely loved being at home and working from home. Some of you will have loved only being the small number of students that we had on site during the lockdown. Some of you will feel really quite worried about what the future holds and about the pandemic in general. So I just want to reaffirm with you kind of my educational philosophy for Polesworth and what I want from the students here more than anything else really. And it's dare to be. When a new day begins, dare to smile gratefully. When there is darkness, dare to be the first to shine a light. When there is injustice, dare to be the first to condemn it. When something seems difficult, dare to do it anyway. When life seems to beat you down, dare to fight back. When there seems to be no hope, dare to find some. When you're feeling tired, dare to keep going. When times are tough, dare to be tougher. When love hurts you, dare to love again. When someone is hurting, dare to help them heal. When another is lost, dare to help them find the way. When a friend falls, dare to be the first to extend a hand. When you cross paths with another, dare to make them smile. When you feel great, dare to help someone else feel great too. And when the day has ended, dare to feel as if you've done your best. Dare to be the best you can be, but at all times, dare to be. Thank you for listening. Please look after each other. Welcome back. It is lovely to have you back on site. And I very much look forward to this being a, a new start as we move into a new era and out of this pandemic. Thank you very much, everybody.